Hello, and welcome to another Discord bot tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to host your bot 24-7 on a server provided by webhost.sh, who is also the sponsor for this video. Webhost.sh offers a variety of hosting services, including web hosting, virtual private servers, and most importantly, Discord bot servers. Webhost.sh offers services that are efficient, reliable, and secure. If you're interested in any of these products, be sure to use my code ROBOTICNATION at checkout for 20% off your first month's payment. Now let's get started. Right now I'm in the client area of Webhost SH, and to get here I just went to my services and I clicked on my server. So if you want to purchase a Discord server, you would go to order new services and then you would go to the Discord server section and you would pick which server was best for you or which plan. So I'm gonna go back to my services and click on my server. Here it's just gonna tell me about my server, whether it's active or not, the disk uses, the bandwidth usage. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is actually connect to our server. And we have to do this through an SSH client. You can either download an SSH client or just have it run through your terminal. I know a few SSH clients for Windows. One is MOBA Xterm, and there's also one called Putty that's very popular. And these have the capabilities to connect via SSH and also to complete file transfer protocols. So if you're on Windows, you're gonna to wanna to download one of these. There are also a couple Mac SSH clients, but you don't necessarily need them to connect to your server. So since I'm on Mac, I'm just gonna use the plain old terminal to connect to my server. So right now I have a terminal window open and the first thing I'm gonna do is type SSH root at, and then I'm gonna go back to the email that webhost.sh sent me with all of my server information and I'm going to find the main IP. And then I'm just gonna type that in right after the at symbol. And then I'm gonna press enter. So since I connected to this server before, it's gonna automatically take me to where I type in the password. However, if you haven't connected to the server, it's gonna prompt you to confirm that you wanna to connect to this supposedly unknown server. So you're gonna to have to type yes and then you can move on to this password part. So now the password you're gonna again get from the email that webhost sh sent you, and you're gonna type it in here. Once you have that typed in, press enter, and if your password was correct, it should say that you logged in to your server. So here we can see that I'm logged in to my server. The server OS is running Debian Linux, and we can type some basic Linux commands in here. If I type ls, we see that our only file here is Discord, and that actually comes along with the Discord servers that you purchase with webhost sh, because with that, you're able to run a script that allows you to easily set up and get your Discord bot online. So normally, they're going to send you that email with the server information and the file that you need to upload and the script that you need to get everything started will be in that email. So what you can do to get that uploaded to your server is use a file transfer application. For example, I have FileZilla, and here you just type in the IP, your username, your password, and then you would connect to it. And all you have to do is drag your file into here and upload it to the server. Also, if you're uploading the script to the server, Mine is already uploaded, so I don't need to do this step. But if you were, you would have to type chmod 777, and then you would type the file name. So dot slash discord. Running the script is very simple. You have to do dot slash discord, and then press enter. And here's the script. So to run the initial setup, we have to press 1. And that's going to install everything we need. And we're going to say Y to continue. So here we have everything installing. This may take a little bit of time and it's gonna prompt us again and we'll say yes. 
we're gonna press enter all right so now that we have that all initialized we can do dot slash discord again to bring up that menu and we're gonna press 2 to set up a new bot so now it's going to ask us where we would like to store our bot and we're going to create a directory and say slash root slash I'll call this Ronnie because that's the name of my bot and then press enter. So to get our code onto the server, we can either upload the bot's code to the directory or copy the bot's code to it, to our clipboard and just paste it in. So I'm going to do option two. I'm going to call this bot.py, press enter. All right, so it's telling us it's going to open a nano screen, which is where we can actually edit files in a terminal interface. So let's press enter. And now we're in nano. So you're going to get your code and copy and paste it. Now I have my code pasted in. So I'm going to press control X to exit and then Y to save and then I'm just going to press enter and that is going to save all of that code in that file so now we're going to have to run that script again to get our bot online so we're going to do dot slash discord and then we're going to start a bot which is option three now it's going to ask you which bot you want to start up and it's going to list what bots you've created. So I just have this one bot here called bot.py and I would like to start that one. So I'm going to press one because that's the number assigned to the spot. So I can press enter. All right, so our bot should be going online pretty soon. Let's check in Discord. And we can see that our bot is indeed online. Now let's see if we can use some of the functions. So let's type in the help command and that command works well. Invite, that's working. Server, that's working. So everything seems to be working with this bot. Now, if you would like to disconnect your bot, what you can do is again, type dot slash discord and instead of starting a bot, we're going to kill a bot. That's the same thing as making the bot go offline. So we'll press four, and then we're just going to press enter. It's going to show you all of the bots that it currently has running. And we can see that we have this bot here. It even gives us the date and time of which it was first online. So we're gonna to have to type in the last part of this bot name, which is dbot6. So if we type dbot6, that's going to be the bot we're going to disconnect. And then we'll press enter. And now, if we wait a little bit, sometimes it takes a couple of minutes for the bot to go offline, but it should go offline. And then we can say no to this, and it will take us back to the root. This is essentially how you can host your bot 24 seven using webhost.sh. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing.